acting sure is a weird and wonderful profession. Because as much as everyone involved knows they're simply playing pretend for the cameras, that doesn't mean authentic emotions aren't felt by performers as they get immersed in a scene. Whatever the reason, these actors drove fear into the hearts of those who had to work opposite them. Even if in many cases the movies were actually all the better for it. So with that in mind then, I'm Ellie with What Culture here with 8 actors who scared other actors so much they forgot their lines. Number 8. Ben Kingsley scared several cast members in Sexy Beast Jonathan Glazer's Sexy Beast is a terrific crime comedy best remembered for Ben Kingsley's superbly terrifying performance as sociopathic criminal Don Logan. It's a performance so brilliantly against type, in fact, that it netted him a well-earned Best Supporting Actor Oscar nomination. Since the film's release, it's been reported many times that several of Kingsley's co-stars were so taken aback by his unexpectedly fiery, aggressive and intense performance that they'd occasionally forget their own dialogue. And so when you see Ray Winston's gal barely able to maintain eye contact contact with Don Logan throughout the movie, at least some of that unease might well be Winston's own discomfort at how brilliantly fearsome Kingsley is. While it won't always be productive on a film set to creep out your co-stars, in the case of Sexy Beast, a film hinged around Kingsley's character in many respects, it absolutely worked. Kingsley commands the screen every time he's on it, while holding his fellow actors firmly in his grip. Number 7. Linda Blair scared Max von Sydow in The Exorcist much as we think of 12-year-old Linda Blair as being the most vulnerable performer on the set of William Friedkin's The Exorcist, as it turns out, she ended up putting the frighteners on one of her considerably older, more venerated co-stars. While shooting the film's iconic exorcism sequence, Blair's delivery of Possess Reagan's expletive-laced dialogue disturbed screen legend Max von Sydow enough that he indeed forgot himself mid-take. Given that von Sydow was a veteran screen actor of almost 25 years at the time of The Exorcist, and had worked on an array of challenging projects during that period, Period. The idea of him being left genuinely unnerved by a 12-year-old girl is unexpected, to say the least. The Academy was similarly impressed, though, as Blair went on to receive a Best Supporting Actress Oscar nomination, making her one of the youngest acting nominees in Oscar history. Number 6. Michelle Pfeiffer scared Jennifer Lawrence in Mother Darren Aronofsky's psychological horror film Mother is a deeply eerie and unsettling piece of work any way you slice it, so it's not terribly surprising that star Jennifer Lawrence had a tough time shooting it. Yet one of her primary sources of fear was a most unexpected co-star, the great Michelle Pfeiffer, who plays a woman who unexpectedly shows up at the home of Lawrence's protagonist. While promoting the film, Lawrence spoke of being intimidated by Pfeiffer, yet not so much because she cuts a terrifying figure, but because of her beauty. Lawrence said it took her three days during rehearsals to get over Pfeiffer's physical attractiveness in person and actually speak to her directly. Later, she also said that she forgot her lines while shooting one scene where Pfeiffer was walking towards her because she became lost in her co-star's eyes and couldn't pay attention to what she was supposed to be doing in the scene. Honestly, can you blame her? Number 5. Heath Ledger scared Michael Caine in The Dark Knight Heath Ledger gave an all-timer, Oscar-winning performance in The Dark Knight as the Joker, a performance that disturbed several of his co-stars, namely Maggie Gyllenhaal and Michael Caine. In the latter case, Ledger's sheer presence of character was so jolting that the veteran Caine even forgot what he was supposed to say. Caine said, He is very, very scary. I had to do this bit where Batman and I watch a video which the Joker sends to threaten us, so I'd never seen him and then he came on the television in the first rehearsal and I completely forgot my lines. I flipped because it was so stunning. It was quite amazing. Wait until you see it, it's incredible. To throw a seemingly unflappable industry titan like Michael Caine off his game is quite the impressive achievement indeed, and Ledger's performance has since terrified hundreds of millions worldwide. Number 4. B. Arthur scared Estelle Getty in The Golden Girls much has been written about the various feuds which unfolded among the central acting quartet on the classic NBC sitcom The Golden Girls, but one of the more fascinating allusions involved Estelle Getty's apparent fear of co-star B. Arthur. In a 2007 interview with one of the show's stars, Rue McClanahan, she suggested that Getty's infamy for forgetting her lines while shooting the show, enough that they often had to reshoot her scenes once the studio audience left, was due to her being unconsciously intimidated by B. Arthur. McClanahan said, We stayed after the audiences left and reshot all of her scenes. It was grinding. It was hard. Poor little thing, Estelle was so humiliated and embarrassed. And then when we went on to do Golden Palace, she didn't have that problem anymore, and I began to think perhaps it was B. Arthur's influence because she wasn't on Golden Palace. I think she was somehow unconsciously intimidated by B. Once B was out of the picture, Estelle wasn't scared anymore. Now, McClanahan did admit it could have been entirely coincidental that Getty could remember her lines when Arthur wasn't there. But as she notes, that Getty similarly had no problem 
problem with her lines in the subsequent sitcom Empty Nest, it doesn't take much reading between the lines, if you pardon the pun, to see what was giving her mental block. Number 3. Tim Curry scared Tony Dakota in It Tim Curry gave an outstandingly creepy performance as Pennywise the Dancing Clown in the original 1990 miniseries adaptation of Stephen King's It, enough that it's not at all surprising that his in-character antics scared the absolute hell out of at least one of his young co-stars. Even with eight-year-old Tony Dakota obviously well aware that he was shooting a film and Curry posed no real physical threat, that unsurprisingly didn't stop him from being thrown off by Curry's sublimely scary acting. In a 2017 interview, Curry said that a terrified Dakota even stopped acting mid-take to let Curry know that he was scaring him. He said there was a point in it. At the beginning of the movie, this little kid called Georgie is sailing his boat down the gutter and it goes down the drain and Pennywise grabs it. And Georgie puts his hand down the drain and I grab it and I suggest that he joins me and say, down here you'll float. And he stopped and said, Tim, you're scaring me. I said, gee, I'm so sorry, but that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Curry then jokingly suggested that Dakota may have needed quite a lot of therapy after completing the scene with him. Though Dakota hasn't acted much since, he did reprise the role of Georgie in a 2019 fan-produced short film, which theorised Georgie's life if Pennywise hadn't killed him. Number 2. Marlon Brando scared Lenny Montana in The Godfather Marlon Brando is one of the most intense actors who's ever lived, and so there's little shame in losing your cool as a performer while working opposite him, especially if you're a non-professional actor. And that was precisely the case with Lenny Montana, a mob enforcer who managed to get cast in The Godfather in the role of Don Corleone's own enforcer, Luca Brasi. Montana was incredibly nervous about working with a legend like Brando, and upon seeing Montana restlessly rehearsing his lines and later forgetting his lines on camera, director Francis Ford Coppola decided to incorporate this anxiousness into the character. And so, the brief moment where we see Brasi practicing his speech for Corleone was shot later, Montana's fear of working with Brando ultimately mirroring Brasi's own fear of Corleone. Coppola was smart enough to know he had gold and simply let art imitate real life. And again, even seasoned actors would be terrified being in Montana's spot, so fair play to him. Number 1. Shirley Temple scared Nyanza Potts in The Little Colonel and we wrap this list up with the 1935 Shirley Temple starring dramedy The Little Colonel. Despite being just six years old at the time of shooting, Temple was already an international megastar thanks to the release of Bright Eyes the year prior. And so her mere presence on set caused the pint-sized actress to inadvertently scare one of her co-stars. To be fair, said co-star was a fellow child, three-year-old Nianza Potts, who played the supporting role of Henry Clay. Due to Potts' fear of working with Temple, he regularly flubbed his lines and missed his cues during the early stages of shooting. This one had a happy outcome though. Temple realised the issue, took Potts aside and rehearsed with him, in turn getting him used to working with her and helping the anxiety wear off. Afterwards, Potts played his part as required and that was that. And that concludes our list. If you think we missed any, then do let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. Also, head over to Twitter and follow us there. And I can be found across various social medias just by searching Ellie Little Child. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day and I'll see you real soon.